All right. Looks like people are starting to join. So wherever you're joining from, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm here. All right, while everyone's joining, if you want to go ahead and jump into the agenda notes. The link is also in the Zoom chat for convenience. If you are new to the meeting and would like something help adding something to the agenda, feel free to speak up and we will help you with that. And I am logged into the document in the wrong account. Hang on just a second. Here we go. All right. And uh, also on the topic of anyone new to the call, if you'd like to speak up and introduce yourself, just let us know that you've joined so we can welcome you. Um, feel free to um, speak up and we'd love to hear how you're using Kubert and what brought you here today. Besides that, it looks like we have a few things to discuss today, so that's exciting. Anyone who has agenda items, open floor, PRs, uh, bug scrubs, or mailing list items that they want to give a little extra attention, please feel encouraged to add those to the agenda. No need to be shy there. And It's three past, so we can go ahead and jump in and get started. So, agenda notes. We're starting off with agenda items today. We have a couple items by people who have not been able to join today. So, Daniel Hiller, it looks like, called out that the Microsoft CBL Mariner Linux distro is apparently including Kubert built in. That's pretty cool. Anyone have any visibility into that or come across it and have any thoughts? Looks like it's been about a month since they merged that. So my understanding is that um, Brian, who I think is on this call, um, found out about this and let Daniel know. And then uh, despite Daniel's comment here, I think he went ahead and added a comment on that PR. Um, just yeah, seeing if they want to add to our doctor's list. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's moving ahead. Fingers crossed that would be cool. Yeah. I think I can All speak right. to the next point oh. as well. Okay. From, uh, yeah, that's, it seems to be a couple of us have noticed that uh, there seems to be a problem with the auto update of the website. Um, yeah, Chandler's looking into it. It seems to be the container that builds it is got some old libraries. So he's going to, um, yeah, figure it out, fix it. And then we might uh, come up with a, a little process document and maybe a, a loose schedule or something to ensure that it's getting updated a bit more regular. Sure, that'd be good. Um, and then it looks like you have the third item too. All right. Um, yeah, I, I was, um, I'd like to add a, a matrix that kind of shows um, conferences that are on our doorstep and also on our horizon. So people kind of have that information directly in front of them, um, freely available. The kinds of things that I've listed here, like um, the CFP close dates, whether there are additional sessions there are that we might apply for the announcement of those, whether they're really successful or not, and then the conference dates themselves. Um, you know, there's probably like 
could be four at a time, I imagine, maybe. Um, is, is this document the best place to put that just at the top, um, changing uh, so they can be relatively uh, free and flexible? Or would people prefer it to be in the community repo? And it looks like I'm getting uh, some comments on that. So yeah, that was just a, a, a question to the group. Yep. Uh, anyone with opinions, preferences, please feel free to speak up on that. Um, and we're, we're definitely here to encourage um, community outreach and promote you if you're interested or know of anyone who would be interested in um, putting together a talk and seeing that that happen. Absolutely. And um, yeah, if, if you are aware of a conference and you're thinking of uh, putting forward a proposal or something like that, um, yeah, please let us know. Um, we can potentially get additional resources. Um, if we know various people are going to the same conference, we can potentially sort something out. We can help with um, you know, the writing or the editing of those proposals and you know, potentially practicing whatever. So yeah, um, I hate to support people uh, presenting Qbert at these kinds of things. and. I would say that we're highly encouraging of it. So please let us know if you have any interest. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. All right. So with that behind us, let's jump to the open floor item. Um, documentation about expert proxy and expert server, how to build and where are Docker files. Um, it looks like we have a um, few people uh, commenting on this item. Do you want to open this for discussion? Yeah, I got it, how to build it. And I would like to know some documentation. If uh, And yeah, actually, why these components are needed for, I saw some um, future requests or how is it called, proposal. Yeah, it's like server for be able to downloading the virtual machine images. But I not fully get this if it works only with file system or also with uh, block uh, storage. And what the current state of the this feature is, it, is it going to be like a mandatory feature in the future or not? Or it's just an op optional component? If anybody um, knows about anything about that, yeah, because so, yeah, um, yeah, please go ahead. No, um, so they are part of Kuber repo, but if you don't want to export any disk, uh, it's it's not mandatory. But you don't uh, you don't have the feature. I don't know if there is a feature gate uh, for this. So maybe yeah, there maybe. there is there is. Yeah, then if you don't enable it, then uh, uh, we should ask uh, Michael and Alexander. Yeah, sorry, I just, just joined. Hi, Mike. Hi. Um, right, so yeah, the export proxy and export server built just like the rest of the stuff in Basel. Um, and even if the feature gate is not on, um, uh the operator needs to know I, I, the operator will i think expect to at least have some reference to their uh images um but then may be able to fake that out i don't know um but anyway i i guess my point is they're built like the rest of the other containers are built so are there what are the particular issues with with them Okay, thank you. Thank you for the links. I'll take a look for that. And if I understand it well, the main usage for this feature is command line uh, client. Or do you guys using it somehow different way, like for web interface or I don't know? Yeah, the main usage is, um, you know, we, we for a long time, we we focused on getting your data into the cluster, and now people want to get their data out of the cluster for various reasons. Um, 
either uh, opt into, you know, for backup cases or um, migration type cases, um, easy ways to share disks. Um, so there is going to be, you know, integration with Vert CTL, but people can also just set up these export servers to host, you know, their disk images um, via HTTP for. Um, anyway. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, another question I wanted to ask, it's about uh, past. Uh, I just found that this feature is came uh, somehow. I, I didn't <laughs> notice that it was merged already and I didn't see any um, performance uh, benchmarks or I know if you guys have any. Um, there should be, I think, a talk at KVM Forum in September. And at Kubvirt Forum? Like in Google uh, Groups? No, a KVM Forum. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I got it. Okay, I'll um, try to Google it. Yeah, yeah try to Google it. There is a, there is a talk about past. Uh, so maybe um, Stefano Brivio is going to present something there. Yeah, the, uh, the link to that and the, the two people presenting it are in the last week's minutes. Uh, the talk is actually called Slurp is Dead Long Live Slurp. And your approach to user mode and networking. Um, so you can probably follow up with those guys. Thank you. Good question. Thank you. All right. Unless there's any last minute items to drop onto agenda or open the floor. I'm going to dive into PRs. Andrew, thank you for queuing these up. Right, pod security admission standards. It looks like it needs LGTM to run the last tests, I guess, or is Kubert FOSA job a problem? any action that we need to take on this? It was committed six days ago and, oh, okay, thank you, got to see. Bot PR. Scripts. Hmm. Almost feels like um, a tank and toleration problem.
Uh, does anyone know, is Vert API supposed to schedule on the masters unless the taint is removed? I usually only run um, a three node cluster, so all of my nodes are masters and I remove the taint. Sorry, I'll be interface not found. Um, does anyone on call happen to have um, ability to validate the SROIOV steps that they took and the evidence that they're showing? I don't have hardware to do that with. So we'll check back on that. We'll make sure it gets in touch and if it hasn't been resolved next week or addressed.
Um, Mai, maybe on this. Is it normal that all the DV are on succeeded state if the PVC is pending? Uh, does anyone hear me? Yes, we hear you. Did you also hear my question? Yes. Okay. Sorry, Abhijay, I was trying to find the bug, but I lost it. Yeah, don't worry, I can fix this. I'm just a bit surprised because the DV are already succeeded and uh. reason I was um, commenting to see if I mean maybe there's node pressure on it since they're assigning it to a specific node. I'm gonna leave it at that for now, I guess. Um, going version, is there going to be, um, Any quick way to respond to this one? An act or anything like that? All right, is you spinning up Cooper VM on Watch V cluster five days ago? Yeah, let me just let me summarize quickly as I had a quick look in their um, log. So basically, they are deploying Qbert on something called V cluster. Um, so I think it's an issue in Virt Launcher. So it successfully uh, managed to connect to Libvirt, but then it should like, um, so the following step should be to, to define the domain and there is nothing. So I don't know, there is something hanging or uh, waiting for something. And then it times out, it time out and basically it's the panic that you see there. So um, V cluster, if I recall correctly, is where you have like virtual clusters inside your existing cluster. It's not um, like virtual machines nesting Kubernetes. It's just uh, completely virtualizing the Kube API and all of its child resources. So it'd be interesting to see how that gets along with something like Kubert that runs against the host. 
Um, is there anyone that can review this further besides, um, or provide other feedback besides Aliche? In addition to Aliche, I should say. Or does anyone know if, how we can try the cluster? Because I think it's... So the cluster is actually pretty quick to get started with. Okay. Um, because if I have an environment, I can check, yeah, but. Yes, um, I, I remember I've only used it a handful mm -hmm. of times, but it just took me about 30 minutes to get um, kind of the quick start figured out. I just mm -hmm. don't know if there's gonna be extra configuration required to support some of the like host access stuff that the launcher uh, do you do you know Kat, if we need already a running kubernetes cluster or yes yeah so okay. you deploy it to an existing cluster mm -hmm. um and then there is a community slack for that run has a channel for the cluster i'm trying to remember where that is um if you get stuck, I'll help you find that. You yeah, know. if I have some time, I, I will try to spin on that. Yeah. But I don't know from the log, I cannot really understand what is, what is going on. Yeah, it's going to be probably kind of weird, especially unless you have some like mm -hmm. known set, setup to test on. Um, the only metal cluster that I have that could run it right now, I can't touch at the moment for experiments. So but I might be able to, if this, I'll subscribe to it and. Yeah, let's see, maybe, maybe Vladi or others, they have, uh, maybe others, they have more ideas. No? I'm gonna check this one next week to make sure. And the vCluster developers are usually pretty responsive when something needs help. So if we need them to address something too that'd be an option okay yes. um well with that i guess it looks like that wraps up the meeting for this week unless there are any last minute additions going once going twice thank you all for your attendance and for everyone who participated um again we'll see you same time same place next week thank you bye Bye. Thank you.